Okay, so I picked this up not too long ago, and uh, I haven't ever purchased an Under Armour uh, football visor. Um, a long time ago, I had a Nike visor, but I've gotten rid of it um, since. But I uh, haven't ever had an Under Armour visor. I've seen a bunch of them. Um, this is actually a, a gray mirrored visor. You can kind of, once I get it out of the box, you can kind of see a little better. Um, the gray ones, you know, I found at MC Sports. It was just $40. Um, it's hard to see on the tag there, but it was $54 uh, originally. But uh, it shows here all the different uh, tints they have. They have a, just an actual gray. Um, gray with mirror is what I got. And then they have a high contrast, which is almost like an orange, I believe. And then also clear, which is actually a, um, I guess, the one you can actually have to wear in high school. Uh, the only one they'll allow, but um, as you can kind of tell this is a a gray visor. It's kind of hard to tell. It does have a mirror on there. You can kind of see the camera there. Uh, gray smoke, whatever you want to call it. It's not a real dark tint. Um, I'm pretty sure, like the uh, you know, it's not. You can't really tell too much. I need to go out and use it some, and maybe show you outside just kind of how it looks. Um, and I'll eventually get it on my uh, football helmet here. Um, it's pretty neat, though. Um, what I like about this visor is it's got the little um, quick, you know, release clips that you can just take this off real easy. Got customizable tabs, and I'll take those out of the box here shortly. Show you all those. Um, overall, pretty cool visor. Um, really like the really like the dark look, even though. Um, never really use it but I am going to put it on my helmet for decoration purposes um, I'm pretty glad I got this though it's a real neat visor pretty unique I'm pretty sure this is the only uh, gray smoke whatever you want to call this color uh, but under armor visor that's on YouTube so and I will have a review eventually on this visor so let's look into the box here and uh, just I'll show you the rest of everything that's in here um, and you got this um, little page here that talks about all the little details about the new visor. Um, it says it's supposed to fit more helmets. Um, I have the Revo Speed, and it definitely fits on mine. And I also put it on an older Riddell helmet. It fits on there. So you really do have a lot of... Um, this is a pretty universal visor. Um, uh, and then we also have on the back here, it tells a little more how to put the visor on. And I'll definitely have multiple videos like showing you how to put the visor on. I'm still trying to learn a little bit. Um, it's been a while. Um, and the Under Armour visor is a little different. So if you, any of you guys have any tips on putting them on, I'd be happy to listen to your tips. Uh, and that's got a thing about the customizable tabs. Um, just basically how to put those on. Then you have your uh, all your multiple colors of your uh, you can customize for your visor tabs up here. So you have a lot of different options. Um, we've got orange, got a little dark blue that looks light blue on the camera. Got dark green, yellow, um, and then maroon. And then we got another black, white, um, red, and then this is a lo little lighter blue if you can tell from those. Um, and then we have gray, another, I believe that looks like navy. Yeah, I'd say that's navy, uh, navy color. And then another maroon. I'm pretty sure those, yeah, those are the same, same look. And then purple and then the other piece of the yellow. So it's all here. It's pretty neat. And then you also have numbers. So what it does when you, it gives you this, say if you just want green, then you'll put that on and you have this blank one so you can either uh, put your number your jersey number on it or just throw another Under Armour sticker on that just to complete it or if you have um, you know a two-tone team maybe you're red and black you can get a red and a black one um, so there, I mean it gives you a lot of options and I really like that they um, uh, put in all these color options that you can um, you know customize your visor with a um, long time ago when the first Under Armour visors came out they were only black and uh, I remember that when they first came out they were uh, and, and I'll tell you one thing visors back when I was playing football 
I mean, that wasn't very long ago, but they were more complicated. I had a Nike visor that you basically had to had all these screws and bolts that went with it, and it was just a real pain in the butt to put on the helmet. And I didn't wear it a lot because it was just such a pain in the butt. It was like it's a pain in the butt. Sorry, that's my word of my day. All right. Um. So yeah, I'll throw it on my football helmet here real quick and just show you what it looks like on it. And then there will be plenty of videos here in the future. Okay, so here's the under armor visor on my Razorback helmet. As you can kind of tell, it does look a little different just uh, from most visors that you see um, just because it is a gray visor. Um, obviously, I'll do a f couple different types of videos like this. I'll do like a uh, what it looks like on the outside. I'll put it on my head. Um, you guys may not know, but I did get to uh, take the little bar that was off there and I can put on the helmet. Um, we'll show that in a later video. Um, you know, I kind of had to I had to put the um, the clips down here, and it kind of limits it to where um, the visor you know the visor tabs can't all the way they can't show all the way. I don't know if a Nike visor would look better on this Razorback helmet, but um, I mean I like Under Armour, but it would just be. And then the top part here kind of limits how you can see the Under Armour visor, but at the same time. Um, looks cool um, so I'll definitely I'll be in the works of making a couple more videos I just wanted to get this video out there today showing you guys it's a pretty neat visor uh, if I must say um, pretty awesome so tell me what you guys think about it um, I'd like to get your feedback on maybe some other things I'd like to do with the helmet um, I am trying to maybe get a uh, a different face mask, maybe one that kind of favors the visor a little more, other than this kind of just basic uh, three bar. Um, so just let me know, guys, what you think about it, and uh, be sure to check back for more videos, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.